Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Is this for real? Life is Strange. Uh-oh, I think Kate's going crazy. There's something going down at the girls' dormitories. Everybody just ran out of class, and everybody's taking pictures now. Please. Oh, God. Rewind again and again. Dude, what the heck? Oh, I paused it. This is the first time we've ever paused time. Going. Max, you can do it. Is there like a mattress or something? Oh, wow, look at him. He's trying to run up and get her. Are we supposed to go inside the building? to do this by myself? Shit, Max, seriously, dude. Seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Dude, we Let should have answered a phone call a couple episodes ago. On your room slate. Thanks for that. But I needed you more when I called to actually talk. That's when I needed a friend. Should we lie to her? Or should we tell this? I guess honesty is the best I policy, was right? Chloe, and she was having a serious problem too. I'm sorry. Apparently, her problem is worse than mine. So why even bother with me? I'm done anyway. No, you're not. And I'm here for you, Kate. Please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like... We're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. 
I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day, and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet, and that's how I'll be remembered, unless I jump. Don't do it! Dude, I wonder what would have happened if we would have answered her phone call. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Well, this is awkward. Um... Jefferson made her cry. David bullied her. Nathan dosed her. I'm gonna go with Nathan. I don't like Nathan. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. Field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. I hate this kid. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? I was afraid yesterday, but I have to tell the truth. I do understand that. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. No, I'll, I'll sign the statement. Screw this kid. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Damn, dude, shit's getting real. I 
I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. I have no clue what's going on, dude, but stuff is just... It's getting weird, man. A lot of different people that could be involved in this. A lot of different people that could be at fault. Can't really trust anybody. The principal and somebody else talking off in the corner of the parking lot? I can't trust him at all. Oh wow, she's actually showing some emotion? This kid's screwed. Is that the guy with the tats that was threatening to kill uh, our friend? That's the dog he cares about? Yep. Oh man, that's so sad. I can't believe we weren't able to save her. And what's gonna happen with our powers? Why couldn't we use our powers in the moment? Was it just we were using them too much and they start to fade away? I don't know, dude. There's so much going on right now. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. Well, at least we're not alone. We got our best friend back. And hopefully we're gonna be able to figure out what's going on in the next episode of Life is Strange, baby. I think that's it. Whose folders are these? He's got prescri prescription drugs, alcohol, and folders of different girls. Weird. All right. Anyway, yeah, there you guys have it. That was episode two, or kind of like chapter two of Life is Strange. That was uh, that was pretty crazy. Looks like we're gonna have to um, to wait in the future. Uh, probably sometime like a month and a half, two months from now, we're gonna be able to um, 
to check out the next one. Anyway, uh, you told Kate to wait for more proof along with 71% of other people. I did not answer Kate's call along with, uh, wow, I was in the major minority there. Uh, I didn't try to shoot Frank. I was also in the minority there. That's weird to me. I, I don't know why you would just immediately shoot him. I wonder what would happen if you if you would have tried to shoot. I wonder if like the gun would have jammed or something like that. Um, holy crap! 59% of people were able to save Kate's life. I bet that's because some of them answered the phone call, dude. Wow. That's absolutely nuts. So Kate could have lived. Kate could have survived. And we failed her. That's really sad. And then finally, but I'm sure somebody else, somebody else would have died in Kate's place. I wonder if, uh, I wonder who it would have been, but somebody else would have died in her in her place, that's for sure. And then finally, of course, 78% of people blamed Nathan for uh, for what he did. So, wow, that's that's pretty intense. Oh, gosh. Holy shit! No way! Life is Strange, Episode 3, Chaos Theory. That looks intense. I'm not sure when that's going to be coming out, but uh, I can't wait. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Life is Strange.